What is up, YouTube, and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Daddy underscore Casey. And in this one, we're on the good old drift track, and we're gonna go ahead and use the scooter capabilities on this thing. I saw some crazy video where people took this thing off road and it did pretty good. Nothing happened to it except for the rear plastic tire. It broke and the handlebar got loose. It looks and it seems like this thing could take a beatings. I'm really looking forward to this thing. It looks like it's going to be a solid addition. Let's go ahead and scooter kit away, huh, Crypto? You ready? Running my Siberian Husky on a scooter. It does have the scooter thing right here and we are we are on the hands-free leash that one of you guys sent in. Let's see how this goes. Go, go! It does feel a little bit. Go, 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 boy! I never thought I would be a scooter kid, but here I am, loving this drift trike. By far the easiest way to exercise it. I feel like I say that every time with every new product. Fatty with a fatty over there, I see her. I should learn how to pop wheelies on this thing. <laughs> Somebody asked, why don't you use the brakes? Why do you use your feet to stop? The reason I don't use my brakes, I need Crypto to notice that I want him to stop. If Crypto doesn't notice that I'm trying to stop, I'll just be making him pull harder. So I need him to know that I want to stop. So that's the reason I stop with my feet. I really want to try douching this thing around. Of course, you can't have the dog with us. I'm gonna have to tie his ass up real quick. We're gonna try and avoid brakes. Here we go, baby. I think I'm gonna turn. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. I gotta learn how to not tip over on this thing. Crypto! Crypto! Hello! Hello! I hit the brakes, man. That's disappointing. I'm disappointed. I choked. I'm sorry, guys. Here I come, Crypto! Oh my gosh, this is scary. <laughs> Crypto! Let's get out of here. This thing can easily go really high speeds. Oh my gosh. The drift trike is not heavy at all. Much more comfortable than a bicycle, that's for sure. You can't really go as far because of the pedaling situation. It's like super light. To all the new subscribers, welcome. To all the old subscribers, welcome. You know we don't discriminate subscribers here. There's two types of videos in my channel. There's the ones that I plan out, either on a notebook or doing research. And there's videos where I just go out to locations and record. I'm really thinking about doing more videos where I just go out and record. Kind of really getting sick of my town. KZE, when will you be moving to a trap house? The trap house is in the near future. On my other video where I got spotted, someone said, KZE, why don't you like talking to your subs? The whole being spotted thing is still really weird. It smells like freaking fries and diabetes. I want some. I got a freaking cube stuck to my head. Oh boy, you smell that? It smells like chicken. KZE, how do you... KZE, how do you make your videos? How do we get to see this amazing footage? <clears throat> 
Look at all of this fur. My neighbors must really hate me. Look at that. Is it snowing out here or is it just crypto? Firstly, you need footage. I think it's best to edit as much as possible. I hate seeing videos where there's just blank spaces. I hate seeing blank spaces. Well, that's the reason why my video has a lot of splits. For that, you're gonna need video editing software, a good computer. The first thing I do is I grab the GoPro and I film a video. I mostly film with the GoPro and this chest strap right here. What the hell, dude? There you go. Come on, Aaron. Excuse the rat, but he's fashionably late. Here's the GoPro I record with. It's a GoPro Hero 5 black. You could remove the flap right here. It's pretty easy. And then the ports are accessible. This is a skeleton housing, so it does protect the front. I never purchased the official GoPro products. This skeleton housing is probably like 40 bucks on GoPro, probably more. I purchased this for about $15 off Amazon. This chest strap came with a bunch of accessories and it was, I believe, $15. GoPro is pretty expensive. What the hell, dude? Most importantly, you need your badass footage. You need footage that people are gonna wanna see. The brat, first you, come in, first you come in with the dress and now this? Are you serious? The most important step, I believe, is editing. I used to use a Mac. A MacBook is by far the best editing. I run with Vegas Pro. Purchased Vegas Pro as soon as I got the laptop. Editing is gonna take some getting used to. Look at the rat, he's about to trip out on himself. This is gonna be funny. Gosh, that was scary. I import it, I edit it with an external mouse just to make things slightly faster. If you guys don't know about editing and stuff, it's pretty much all control keys. So if you want to split something, you press S to move it over, control F, all that you're gonna need to get used to it. Once the video is rendered and saved, I do render it at 1080p, 60 frames per second. After I render it, the next thing I do is I start publishing it to YouTube. While the video is uploading, the next thing I do is a thumbnail. I recently purchased Photoshop. This is $20 a month if you're a student. There are other alternatives. I used to use GIMP, which is free. Photoshop CC, it's gonna have way more resources. In the long run, it is good because it saves you a lot of time. You guys know my badass thumbnails. I had to go ahead and cop Photoshop. That's pretty much it, you just get way faster at doing things over time. I hope that answered your question on how I edit my videos. That was a pretty funny reaction of crypto and the fruit. See? Speak. Speak.
feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.